Good morning and this Wednesday welcome to our daily prayers together. Um, I've taken a picture of the preschool a garden around the back of Christ Church. You can see there's a bird feeder hanging from the little tree there. It's doing a bit better than one in our garden. Our bird feeder the string broke and it fell off the tree. But although the birds no doubt um, weren't too impressed, um, our dog has been very pleased. Alfie's been munching all the bird seed that's been there on the ground. So let's quiet ourselves now as we come consciously into God's presence. O oh Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and for ever. Amen. Our reading this morning is uh, taken from Philippians chapter 2, picking it up at 19. Paul writes, I hope in the Lord Jesus to send Timothy to you soon, so that I also may be cheered when I receive news about you. I have no one else like him who will show genuine concern for your welfare. For everyone looks out for their own interests, not those of Jesus Christ. It's funny, I'd love to have met Timothy just to see what he was like, along with lots of other Bible characters. But don't you find it refreshing when you meet someone who's not so tied up with themselves, but has a genuine interest for others? Sometimes it's striking because the norm in our society is to be very involved with ourselves and not so good at being aware of others. Sometimes I'm a bit like that. I'm all tied up on my own stuff and don't always notice what's going on in someone else's life. Perhaps a good prayer is that we begin to be better concerned for others. And a good place to start is maybe each day by saying a prayer for someone else and seeing how they are doing as time goes on. Dear Lord, thank you, because you weren't concerned about your interests, but came to serve us in coming to earth and dying on a cross. Help us to have the same mindset as you, to look to others and be concerned about them. Not dismissing our worries, but putting them before you, but including in our lives a really good concern for others. A space for our prayers. And so as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Amen. And so may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all, now and for evermore. Amen. <laughs>